Previously on We Went to Florida for Hurricane Ian, Shortsleeve and I met up with the Deemers and laid some concrete, hung some drywall, and went to the chili cook-off. Now, only seven days before we leave, we're hanging drywall, going to hockey games, and heading home. Monday, December 12th, 2022. Less than one week away to heading back north, but uh, I thought I was going to take the rest of the week off. I took a couple days and said, nah, better uh, get back on it. Got bored, so we're going to do a little drywall repair. You got uh, this line right there, box, cover that in. So you guys have probably seen this old trick on the internet before, but if you're out of blocking and you need a place to anchor to, you can do the old screw this into the board trick, turn it, and put it in there just like this. So you put uh, the board in the wall like that, turner, put the two screws in, and then we'll remove the middle screw and then we have a place to anchor our drywall board. All right, we got our backers in for our first uh, piece. Unfortunately, the line's just over eight feet. So we're gonna stop it a little short there. We'll have another seam and then we'll finish off the big piece there. All right, we got our patch in there. Looking good. Now for this episode of That's Not How You Fix That, today we have a situation here where you really should fix it a different way, but this is how we're going to do it. There's really no studs or backing. We don't want to get into that water line. I'm going to do a giant, long California patch. We're going to see how that goes. So we're going to dry fit this in here real quick, and we're going to go whip up some mud and see if we can't make this thing work. Prepped out this nice, big, long, skinny piece, California patch style. Rip the paper on both sides. We're gonna dry fit it in the hole here real quick. All right, we got our bucket of all purpose joint compound here. We got our pan, we're gonna mix it up. We're gonna add just a teeny little bit of water since we are uh, using this for a patch. We don't want our super wet. All right, this one's pretty smooth already, but we are gonna just add a teeny touch of water to her. Probably maybe just a hair more. If I was getting ready to tape joints, I'll show you that later. I'd probably mix a lot more water in there, but uh, this is just for the patch. We don't need it to uh, be silky smooth. All right, that's about good. We don't need it like falling off the knife or anything for this. Normally if we we're taping, we'd want it to drip out, but this is nice and creamy. It's nice and smooth when you lay a line down like that. Should be good to go. All right, we dry fit our board. We know it goes in there and fits well. Nice and snug, we got the mud ready. We're gonna run two lines down here, a little bit underneath, maybe just a little bit on the back of the paper. All right, we got our mud on the wall. We're gonna put the drywall piece in there and then we're gonna smooth it out. The best angle I can get you guys, here we go. All right, that's gonna have to be good enough for now. Hopefully she dries nice, we'll put a couple more layers on it. All right, there we go. That's what we got for today. We'll be back tomorrow. All right, here we go, December 14th, Wednesday. We're framing some closet ducks back in. We're gonna do a little drywall, a little framing, a little drywall. Show you what's up, here we go. Okay, so far this job's working out uh, just beautifully, really easy. I'll show you what I mean here. All right, so we're boxing in this vent in the closet so it disappears. And perfectly right where we need to be, there's a stud right here. And then exactly on the other side, you probably can't see because of the dark, but there's a stud right here. So this is going to work out perfect. All right, so for in the closet, I want this drywall to come up nice and flush here. So we're going to set up a little makeshift one we know that's how it's going to run and then we've marked where the uh board should run to make that flat so we got a lot of nice studs as we go down the wall we're going to cleat here here and then the two vertical ones and then we'll put in our strapping down the line like that give us something to anchor the drywall to here we go 
All right, we got our frame in there. Boom, it's looking good. We also hit the closet. I'll take you guys over and show that. Turn on the old head flashlight. There we go. Looking good up there too. Okay, we've got all the drywall attached. We got our corner bead on right here. If we can get a light. There we go. We got our corner bead on right there. Things looking good. Looking good. Later that evening, Bevelheimer hooked us up with some hockey tickets. So Short Sleeve and I met up with Half Pint and headed to Hertz Arena to check out the Florida Everblades. <laughs> Even made it onto the Jumbotron. Look, 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 right here. There we go. Yeah. The camera guy tried not to laugh. We had a fantastic time at the game and the Everblades even won. The next day was straight back to work as we finished up the drywall project and then began to prepare to head home. So Thursday, December 15th, T minus two days till we're out of here and we're finishing up the last few coats of drywall. We got the mud, we put one layer on the laundry room. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Also, P.S., we had a slight flood since I forgot to put the drain thing back into the washer and uh, didn't know somebody was going to decide to do a load of laundry. So, uh, But we got it cleaned up. We have a super clean garage floor now. Last day before we leave, Friday, December 16th, I'm trying to work up the motivation to put this last uh, round of drywall mud on. The back was a little stiff today. But we're gonna pressure through and get her done. Well, kids, that's it. We've got our last coat on, and tomorrow we will do a wet sand around to take the lines out, add our texture, then we'll be ready to paint. And we're out of here. The drywall projects turned out great, a little sanding, texturing, and painting, and they're good to go. For our last night in town, we threw a sayonara sleeve send-off. We tossed some wings, ribs, and burgers on the grill and invited some friends over to say sayonara. Of course, Rhinestone, Papa Giorgio, and Joe Biscuit were among the celebrities to say goodbye. And Bevelheimer broke out his famous farewell old-fashioned. Pookie played us a farewell tune and the cousins said goodbye before they went to bed. I gave Bevelheimer his early Christmas gift and then it was time to head off to go to bed, but there was one thing left to do. All right, we're a couple hours before the flight, but I wanted to make sure I got this in because this is gonna be my favorite part. They served me well for the last few years, but uh, the old work tennis shoes are going in the trash can. With our bags packed, we were ready to fly, but there was a couple more things left to do. We're almost out of here. We're here at Astero Park so we can hit the old short sleeve stomping grounds where he used to play ground as a kid back in the day. So, Indiana, here we come. Okay, hold on. What's up for the kid there? Look out, kid. And there we go. Nice. Hello! Hello, Pooh Bear! And you're swinging! And you're swinging! And you're swinging! Ta -da. <laughs> All right, here we are playing a round of frisbee golf. Sorry you couldn't make it, flu type A. Sorry you couldn't make it. I sleep in on the weekend, Sean Morgan, and I had too many kegs of beer last night. Here we go. 
Oh, make that. Oh, well, that's just. Swoosh. Swoosh. Daddy is already in. All right. Okay, get me to the next hole. We got the Ann as it because the uh, cocktail, shrimp, spicy rib, chicken wings, all those things we had last night have finally caught up to us with a few beers and we need something to relieve the heartburn. And now we're gonna go run down this hill. There they go. There they are, way up on the hill. <laughs> Here they come. Man, you ran fast. Here she comes! You can do it! Look at her go! The girls made it. Here we go, it's becoming tradition before we take off on the airplane to come to Sun Harvest. There, there we go, we made it. There's the playground, look at the kids, here we go. Grabbing orange juice and ice cream at Sun Harvest has always been a family tradition, so we enjoyed one less lick and slurp of Florida before Short Sleeve and I were on our way. Here we go, kids. We're walking down the tarmac, about to hop on this plane, headed to Louisville. We're out of here. And just like that, two months later, it was time to say goodbye to Florida and head home back to Indiana. When we landed in Louisville, Christmas was in the air. Or that could have been the 30 White Castles we snagged on the way back from the airport. And the next morning we were greeted by snowflakes that fell just before we went and saw Little Joe's Christmas play. A few snowflakes falling down. Yes, it was good to be home. Back in our own beds, back at our own desks, and ready to make these videos. And don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe to find out all the cool stuff we got for Christmas. Unboxing and review videos to come. Like this one. Yeah. Yes, it was great to be back and enjoy a beautiful white Christmas. We hope you enjoyed yours. And to all those affected by Hurricane Ian... We send blessings of a speedy recovery. But as always, until next time, I'm Sleeve1080, and we'll see you in the next one. It might possibly be snowing right now. Um, it looks like uh, here comes the blizzard of 2022. It's going to be a cold one out here, kids. Wow!